Hey guys, TechEGHT here again with another video, and today I have a video showing you guys the real world differences between iOS 7, specifically iOS 7.0.6, and iOS 7.1, and I'm also going to be telling you guys whether I think it's worth the upgrade or not. So without any further ado, let's get straight on into the video. <music> Alright guys, so as you guys can see here, I'm using two iPhone 5Cs to demonstrate this video. The one on the left is the green iPhone 5C running iOS 7.0.6, and the one on the right is my blue iPhone 5C running iOS 7.1, as you guys can see from this clip here. So the phone on the left in this case is running 7.1, and the phone on the right is running iOS 7.0.6. So actually let's move on to the next clip where I can show you guys uh, that the iPhone running 7.1 is actually a whole lot snappier. Now, as you guys can tell from the video, I'm just performing simple everyday tasks such as uh, booting up Siri or switching between applications. Uh, and actually, one of the things that I really like about this is that it has really been sped up to the point where uh, it feels like you've literally breathed new life into the phone and I think it's a really really nice upgrade. Now one of the things I didn't like about iOS 7.0.6 were the slow animations which is why I jailbroke to install a tweak called no slow animations. Now iOS 7.1 actually addresses this issue and fixes the problem of having slow animations. And as you guys can see these phones are essentially basically the same um, and they're running most of the same applications, uh, but as you guys can see from the video and when I'm demonstrating, they all launch the applications much faster on iOS 7.1. Now it's not a huge difference and you probably won't notice it in day-to-day -day usage uh, but quite honestly if you put them up next to each other you will notice a huge difference between the phone running 7.0.6 and the phone running iOS 7.1. Now a very simple example of what I'm talking about can be seen from this clip here where I demonstrate opening up Control Center. Now as you guys can see, the iPhone 5C running iOS 7.0.6 doesn't actually take full advantage of the fact that you have a pretty powerful processor under the hood. Now when I actually pull up Notification Center on the iPhone 5C, uh, it actually has this really nice bounce effect which I think actually does take advantage of it. Uh, since you do have the processing power, you might as well actually make use of it. Now if I open up settings as you guys can see here, one of the differences uh, are that you actually have your uh, password and privacy settings uh, actually available right there. And also coming over here, uh, you can actually go and open up general and accessibility and you have a couple more options here. Now over here you have just one more where you can actually turn off uh, your on or off labels and you can actually enable or disable button shapes in iOS 7.1. So in iOS 7.0.6 everything kind of just had a little arrow but you can actually enable button shapes in 7.1. And one of the interesting things you can do is actually reduce the white point so that you guys can actually have less of a harsh effect from the whites on your eyes. Now you can also disable the transparency which you can see from this example here when I open up the folder in 7.0.6 it's kind of transparent but in iOS 7.1 it's completely grayed out. Now this actually carries over to control center as well which I think actually looks pretty nice. Uh, I honestly do prefer the transparency but for someone who doesn't like it I think that this is a pretty interesting feature. Now the next aspect of iOS 7.1 that I'm going to be showing you guys is Siri, which is actually greatly improved. As you guys can see, I'm not really touching my phones uh, over here, but my phone on the right actually responded to Siri quite well, and the phone on the left actually took a lot longer. Now I can actually continue to talk, and I generally have seen that while they're completely, or not entirely, uh, you know, one much, much faster than the other. Uh, but overall, I see that it's a little bit more responsive on the one on 7.1. Maybe that's just a placebo effect or me, uh, but I do think that it's actually pretty nice. Another feature that I really like is that you can actually hold down the home button and when you let go of it after talking, Siri will stop listening right then and start processing. Whereas in 7.0.6, you would actually, whether you held it down or not, Siri was basically just gonna listen for when you stop talking or when it stops hearing something rather to start processing. Now a very small, uh, which not, is not a very significant feature, but I think it looks nice, is the changes in the green icons. Now if you look on the right, the icon for messages is actually a little bit darker and a little bit flatter. The same thing for phone, and this actually carries through uh, to applications like FaceTime. 
Uh, and again, it's not a huge difference. It, it actually darkens it a little bit. So if you guys are a fan of the bright, happy-ish, flamboyant look, then maybe this isn't for you. Uh, but I think it actually looks nice. And I think that this is how iOS 7 should have been from the start. Now, this upgrade 7.1 has really solved a lot of the bugs and the issues that came with iOS 7. Uh, and I think that this is exactly what iOS 7 should have been from the start. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, it would be really awesome if you guys could leave it a like rating. And for more videos like these, as well as other unboxing reviews, tutorials, and much, much more, please do remember to subscribe. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, and I really do hope that you guys enjoy upgrading your device to iOS 7. Either way, thanks for watching, and as always, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.